Hey everyone, it's Heather Marie Speaks and I'm here in Hampton, Virginia with one of my amazing sponsors, Travian Van. She is custom designing, or has custom designed rather, now that I'm here, I did my first <laughs> fitting, my dress. And we did this completely blind. Um, I 1 million percent trust this woman because she has been a designer for many years, but she was part of RVA Fashion Week and had designed a couple of different looks for last fall. Um, and I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt, I was like, I just got done talking to her, thinking, is she gonna wanna sponsor me for this or not? Yes. This America pageant is pretty big. I need to have this amazing, epic outfit. And I knew, didn't matter if I didn't see it, that I was blindly trusting her. And guys, today I literally had tears in my eyes yes, from did. this. <laughs> it was like amazingly magical and angelic all in one. And I couldn't have even thought of something so incredible. You have an incredible gift and talent. Thank you so much. How did you get started in all this? It's crazy, I stumbled into sewing. I've always been a lover of fashion since a kid. However, at 29, I owned a boutique and I wanted to try something. It was something random. My mom was like, hey, she, she was making it first. Yeah. And then she was like, hey, you're getting too many orders. Let me show you how to create this part. And it wasn't just dresses. You guys did mm -hmm. a bunch of different stuff, right? It was actually, we started off with the bow tie. Okay. So it was, and then I'm like, hey, this sewing thing is not that hard. Cause she tried to teach me when I was younger and yeah. I was into sports and things. I was like, yeah. I don't want to do that. And when she set me in the sewing machine and I'm like, this is easy. Okay, well <laughs> let me try doing this. And I attempted to go to a store and get a pattern, Yeah, but it just wouldn't click. So I taught myself how to make it myself. That's incredible. Yeah. And from that, it just went. Crazy. Well, when it's your gift, I think it yeah. comes easy, right? And it's one of those things that sometimes it comes later in life and seasons. This pageant is an example of something that has come later in life for me. I never expected it, never planned it, but it became part of my destiny. So we're sitting there talking in the dressing room and I'm telling Travian, you should come to Vegas. This would be an amazing experience. She's like, yeah, I went to Vegas before. I said, what were you out there for? just a Soul Train Awards thing. And I'm like, what? A Soul Train Awards thing? So she starts telling me about these amazing, like superstars that I've uh, heard of, obviously. You wanna tell me a little bit about it? The, the joke was that she was like, well, who did you design for? I'm like, SWV, I did the group. And she's like, what? And it's crazy because people are like, why don't you talk about this? Cause I love like all my clients. I, and yeah. they just become a client and they yeah. first become a client. And I'm not that type of designer that put people in categories. Right. It's just at that moment, you're my client. So we was laughing because I told her I was asleep when Tony Braxton came, <laughs> you know, the room. And I'm like, you know, yeah. like that high. And I went back to sleep because I was tired. Yeah. But I sort of met Erica Badu <laughs> on the red carpet. And she like started me because that was the person I wanted to meet the whole entire weekend. Yeah. And I had like my hair real big and she was like, hey, I like your hair. And before <laughs> I like look up and saw who it was, I was, this was my reaction. I was just like, star, star. <laughs> and then she like tapped me on my shoulder and smiled and like walked away. I was like, I love oh, it. I did anybody, Erica. I'm like, yeah. I love stories like that though, because you're so humble. And it's like this, I just found this out. I've known you since last fall and I just found out that she was in Vegas, just designing for SWV. No big deal. <laughs> like what? So I am beyond honored, beyond humbled, beyond thankful that you have designed this dress for me. And guys, you have Just not wait. seen anything yet. It literally, I mean, it brought tears to my eyes and I'm not a huge crier. So wait until you see this incredible gown that she has designed from scratch. We both blindly have done this. I just said, do your thing. So I am so excited. And thank you for trusting me to do it there would be no one else. Yeah. Absolutely. So guys, you gotta check her out. She makes, um, you call it bespoke wedding gowns, mm -hmm. custom wedding gowns. You also have made some men's things, right? Well, it's just for my husband, but um, <laughs> not. <laughs> if you was, yeah, if women. he's in a jacket, it's because I was like dragged to the sewing machine. Like, oh my God, can you please it. make this for me? I'm like, but I don't, I don't really focus on the men's things. So for so women, when you want women. the most epic wedding gown, bridal reception, formal event. This is one of your first pageant dresses though, right? I, I did like send my pageant. I think it was for maybe like a younger person, like a yeah. teen or something, but as far as on this level, yes. Miss mm -hmm. America. So stay tuned. Yes. Because you're gonna be blown away. <laughs> I made it, I was blown away. So it's like, <laughs> it's incredible guys. Follow Travian at? 
Travian Van. This T R A V I A N V A N N. And when you type it in and you on Google, it brings up everything. I love yeah. it. Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, so much you beyond words. Back. Guys, until next time, stay tuned for another community spotlight. But we're going to head to Virginia. We're bringing Virginia to Las Vegas. So stay tuned. See you guys there. All right.